You've heard these great stories. Now what about your story? Hi, I'm Dean Arnold. I'm the creative director for Come On Let's Go and I've edited most of the stories on this site. You can have a good story. In Jesus Christ, your story can be redeemed and rejuvenated through Him and through the power of His resurrection. Let me tell you how. First of all, your sins can be forgiven. The things that you've done that are bad, that you're ashamed of, Jesus will forgive through the power of his resurrection and through his blood that was shed on your behalf so the guilt of your sins can be taken care of. Jesus told his disciple Peter to forgive people 70 times, 7 times a day. And that applies to you too. So no matter how bad you've sinned or how many times, Jesus is in the forgiving business. There's another story in the Bible where Jesus come, comes across an adulterous woman. He says, uh, she loves much because she was forgiven much. Jesus wants to be loved just like we do. And he knows that the people who love him most are the people who appreciate the fact that their sins have been forgiven. Jesus wants you to be one of those people. How do you have your sins forgiven and your life changed by Jesus Christ? Simple. You just ask him to. The Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. A simple translation of that would be, Jesus, help me. That's all you've got to say, and that's all you have to pray. Jesus, help me. Let's do that right now. Lord Jesus, please forgive my sins. I now ask that my life be changed through the power of Jesus Christ. I ask that the Holy Spirit come in and rejuvenate and restore me and make me a brand new person, just as the Bible says that I will be if I pray this prayer. If you've prayed that prayer right now, God has changed your life. You might not recognize it right away. We have to do this by faith, but he says he'll do it. That's God's promise. And lastly, let me, let me tell you a quick story about King Manasseh in the Bible. Uh, he was one of King David's descendants, and he was a terrible king, and he was wicked to the point where he was visiting homosexual brothels and he was killing his own children in child sacrifice. This was a wicked person. Uh, God was so angry he had an enemy king come and attack Jerusalem and they dragged Manasseh by the nose into a cellar and uh, that looked like it would be the end of the story but the Bible tells us that Manasseh cried out to God and asked for forgiveness. And you know what? God forgave him and restored him to the throne of Israel and let, it, let him have a positive story at the end of his life. Can you believe it? God wants that to happen for you too. He wants to redeem your story and he wants to renew your story.